Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this effect of the kind of water on the ship. As you can see, when we get deeper into the water, it gets a bit darker, um, changes colour and so on. So as you can see, if the ship is sinking or something, it can give you this greatest effect which is generated in real time. And if we get closer, the effect gets less intense, which is nice because it's like there's less water in between. Now... I got this model of blend swap by this dude here and it's CC0 which is great. So if you want to go download this there will be a link in the description but we're going to get straight on with the tutorial. So this is a new scene which I have of the ship and I'm just going to get rid of these, apply these modifiers since they came with a ship like that. I'm going to leave edge split on and that should be fine. So. So what we're going to do is come over here to the material and we're going to add a new material and I always turn off specular, I don't know why. Um, you want to give this a name, I'm going to call this ship. Um, you don't have to give it a name but it's always a good practice to get into. So what we want to do is enable material nodes as you can see I just did before. Then we want to stretch this open. Then we want to add this node editor and we want to select the material ship from the list and what you see is if we come here and grab the ship and then assign the ship to which is our second material which is using nodes nothing changes because they're basically doing the same thing so what we want to do is we want to come here we're going to go shift a and then we're going to go input geometry then we are going to add converter oh no sorry vector normal then I'm going to connect this up to global so what this is doing is basically just mapping it in a certain way so we want to use this dot value what this dot value is going to give us it's going to give us a black and white and as you can see we have a little black and white gradient now and as it goes into the water it changes from black to white so it's really good so there you can see we have our mask basically so we can use this for a lot of things so now we want to mix this with the material. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a math, uh, math, 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 and we want to change this to divide. So what this allows us to do is if we want to change how long it takes for the gradient to fall off, we can just turn this up. So as you can see, the gradient falls off a lot less now. So this is a great technique for making your gradient go off a little bit less so as you can see goes off a little bit less all right so we're going to move this up here then we're going to add a um, color rgb mix or mix rgb then we want to plug this into the factor so this is going to be our mask then we're going to plug the color into the top one so that means that what you see is the white is going on the bottom part of our mask and the the normal texture is going on the top part so we might want to change this to a different color to feel a bit more like more like water you use a different material or something but this will be fine for me so what we want to do is we want to change this to a correct color um that should be fine i think because it gives me a kind of a feeling of like it's underwater uh, all right so there's our ship so what we're going to set up now, now that this is done, is when we get closer, we want it to kind of get less intense or more intense. So it feels like if we're closer, then um, all that stuff works. So I turn that down a little bit. So we want it to feel like the, there's more water in the way. So what we're going to do is move this across. We're going to add a uh, input camera camera data then we are going to add a converter math divide and then we're going to plug this z depth into the top uh, we have view distance as well view distance is more of a round one and z depth is more of just kind of a straight line so i like z depth a bit more myself so just plug z depth into the top slot then we want to come here and just plug this in here so we can have 
a quick look at it. So as you can see, when we get really close, you can see it. So we want to turn this up to 10 will be good for me. So as you can see, we have another mask, which is getting generated on the fly. So what you can see is if we add a mix, then we connect this up to the factor, then we connect this here. As you can see it's not working. So what we're going to do is change this to black. That does not work. So what you want to do is you want to move the color from the top to the bottom one. Right, then you're going to change this to black and now you'll see it works. So as you can see the top is completely black the bottom is white. But when we get close to the bottom it changes to more of a black. So as you can see, there we go. So if we were to just plug this in here. There we go, it's all set up and you can use this for masks. Um, this, this, you have a already made mask for you. So you can use this for a lot of different things. Like um, there's a way you can deform it, the U, the text, the UVs so the texture looks like it's kind of waving. Like uh, the light is bouncing in certain ways. So it kind of makes it look like water. Which is a pretty cool technique. And maybe I'll show you how to, how to do that in another tutorial if you want to see it. So I'm going to group all of these. So it's a little bit easier. Um, just Control G when holding all of them. Then we want to select these ores. So since we want to do the same thing with ores, and then we're going to go and add new material. Uh, I always turn specular off as this kind of thing. And then we want to enable material nodes. And move this across. And select this planks or um ores or whatever you want to call them. Um sign the the material nodes. Then we want to come here, add a RGB mix. Then we want to go input. Oh no, not input. Uh, let me just delete this. We want to add a group. And this is going to be our node group down here. You could name it something else if you wanted. Then we're going to connect that into the factor. And then as you can see, when it comes down, it gets more white. Which we don't really want. We want it the same color as our boat. So we're going to come up here. And we're going to select the color. We're going to go Control C. And then we're going to come back to our paddles. And we are going to go Control V. So as you can see, we've copied and pasted the color, which is a really neat Thing you can do in Blender. As you can see when the petals go down they get the same effect. So as you can see when we get close to them they change as well. So we're going to join these up just to make it a complete model. <clears throat> so what you see is now it will go in the water and it just works great. It's all finished and you have a nice texture all working. So you could use this for the game and then add a plane and then add an animated texture you could have some really cool looking water. So if you want to find more tutorials like this, subscribe on YouTube or find all of the tutorials on BlenderReel.com. Have a great week, keep blendering, make something cool.